She's the queen of Barbados, the goddess of pop music, and is one of the wealthiest female musicians on the planet. We know her for her appealing outfits, perfect voice, and hit singles such as Umbrella, Rude Boy, and Only Girl. But how much do you know about Rihanna's love life? When it comes to men, it's fair to say she's been with them all over the years, from NBA stars, movie superstars, and even billionaires. Oh, and let's not forget the Chris Brown incident. So without further ado, let's delve right into Rihanna's long and very complicated dating history. Rihanna's first big love was back in 2006 when she dated Nigga Silly, aka The Love God. This was back before she hit the big time and these two were very close. From walks on the beach to romantic candlelit dinners, they had it all. Sadly, they had to call it a day when Rihanna's career started to really kick off and she had to move to the States. Sure, it was a strong relationship, but we all know how tough the long distance thing is. As a statement to how much they respected each other, they remained close friends and just five years later, they were spotted dancing together at a festival back home in Barbados. Any speculation that the two had rekindled any romance was promptly shut down, however, when Negus told the Daily Mail that I'm pretty proud just to be friends with her and I will always be here for her in Barbados. We all know what that means. Rihanna was officially friend zoned. Still, you know what they say, there's plenty of fish in the sea. And with that in mind, enter Shia LaBeouf. Okay, this wasn't exactly a full blown love story. In fact, they only went on one date together, but we thought it was worthy of inclusion. We're not entirely sure what happened on the date or rather what didn't happen, but a few years later, Shia explained to MTV Magazine that the spark wasn't there. We weren't passionate about each other in that way, so we remained friends. We don't know about you, but friends with Shia LaBeouf sounds good to us. Later in 2007, Rihanna was spotted kissing and hugging in a New York nightclub with none other than actor Josh Harnett. Of course, the excitement from fans went into overdrive. Could she have finally found the one? Well, if you believe Rihanna's initial reaction, probably not. In an interview with Allure magazine, she said you can't even go out with a friend who's a celebrity and have a good time without people making up. Well, at least he's good looking, right? The lust between the pair could not be covered up any longer, however, when in November, she made it official. Whilst in Monte Carlo for the World Music Awards, she told NZ Herald that I would be lying if I told you we were not more than just friends. I have so fallen for him. He is lovely. The trouble is, as you will see, many of Rihanna's relationships struggled to get off the ground and before long, things had fizzled out. Shame. Even more confusing was Josh's later comment that the two of them had actually dated. Read into that what you want. By now, it was 2005 and Rihanna's most famous relationship was about to begin. Enter Chris Brown. Now, if you read the news, you probably know what's coming. But for now, bear with us. Rihanna and Chris met at the Vibe Music Awards and were spotted hanging out on many occasions afterwards. Initially, just claiming they were friends, they eventually confirmed they were an item, but less than a year later, it all went very sour indeed. On the night of the February 2009 Grammy Awards, they broke up in a very public way. You see, they were supposed to be performing at the event together, but then canceled due to news circulating that Chris had been accused of attacking a woman. It was later revealed that woman was Rihanna. Apparently, the attack took place in their car after Chris had received a message from another woman. They had started arguing and Chris went on to beat her. In her interview on Good Morning America, she described how Chris had no soul in his eyes, just blank. He was clearly blacked out. There was no person when I looked at him. Chris was charged with felony battery and sentenced to five years on probation. He would later apologize to Rihanna by posting a video on YouTube he said, I have tried to live my life in a way that makes those around me proud of me. 
Until recently, I think I was doing a pretty good job. I wish I had a chance to live those few moments again, but unfortunately, I can't. After Chris, there were various rumors of new love for Rihanna, first in the form of actor Wilmer Valdemara. When neither confirmed anything, the press moved on to NBA star Andrew Bynum. But again, it was to be a dead end. Then came Rashard Lewis and even Justin Timberlake. But given this was the time when he was dating Jessica Biel, Rihanna was very eager to deny it. Justin, however, never commented. Fear not, though. The press were eventually given what they were looking for, a romantic lead with some substance, otherwise known as Drake. The pair initially met on the set of the video to Rihanna's Panda replay, but it took another four years for the dating rumors to begin. They had been spotted together at a bowling alley in Los Angeles, where an onlooker told Page Six magazine that Rihanna had been making out with him all night. But in 2013, Drake announced on the Ellen DeGeneres show that they were just friends. Later in 2016, he announced on stage at the MTV Music Video Awards that she's someone I've been in love with since I was 22 years old. She's one of my best friends in the world. Later, Rihanna would comment saying it was the most uncomfortable part of the show. We don't have a friendship now, but we're not enemies either. It is what it is. Ouch. Oh, before we forget, in the time Rihanna and Drake were deciding if they, you know, liked each other or not, there were a bunch of other men rumored to be on the dating scene with Rihanna. In 2010, she apparently had a thing with Matt Kemp, but four months later, they split, with a close friend citing the fact that he couldn't keep up with her crazy travel schedule as the reason. Then, there was British boxer and model Dudley O'Shaughnessy in 2011 who she met on the video to her single, We Found Love, when he featured as her fake boyfriend. Despite things getting very steamy between the pair in the video, she would later say that, we just get along, we were just mates. In December, she would have a fling with Juan Felipe, but they went their own ways. And again in 2011, she got very close to Ashton Kutcher, only to move on to say, they weren't ready for anything serious. Oh, and then there was NBA star J.R. Smith, who was spotted getting very cozy with Rihanna in nightclubs, but alas, they went their own ways too. Maybe she was still trying to get over the incident with Chris Brown, or maybe she just didn't know what she wanted. Either way, in 2012, Rihanna and Chris reconciled. She explained to Marie Claire that it's different now. We don't have those types of arguments anymore. We talk, we value each other. He doesn't have the luxury of f***ing up again. Hold on, this is the same guy that pleaded guilty to attacking her, right? Were they about to forgive and forget and make a go of things again? You guessed it, no. Very quickly, as always is the case with Rihanna, their time together was short-lived. She would later open up to Vanity Fair and proclaim, I was very protective of him. I felt that people didn't understand him. She continued, I don't hate him. I will care about him until the day I die. We're not friends, but it's not like we're enemies. In his 2017 documentary, Welcome to My Life, Chris dropped a few revelations of his own, saying, we would fight each other. She would hit me, I would hit her, and it was never okay. Needless to say, we think it's a good idea that they both decided to call it a day. Fast forward to 2013, and Rihanna collaborated with music star ASAP Rocky on the single Fashion Killer. It was clear right from the off that they would go on to be more than just music colleagues. Although they initially brushed off any dating rumors, they did remain in close contact. A mere seven years later, and rumored flings with Leonardo DiCaprio, basketball player Matt Barnes, soccer player Kareem Benzema, Lewis Hamilton, Travis Scott, Saudi billionaire Hassan Jamil aside, it finally happened. Actually, we should probably say that Rihanna and Hassan Jamil weren't just a rumor, it actually happened. In a 2019 Vogue interview, Rihanna stated, yeah, I'm dating, I'm actually in an exclusive relationship for quite some time, and it's going really well, so I'm happy. In true form though, they broke up shortly after, with a source saying their lives were too different and it was too difficult to maintain the relationship. Anyway, back to the man of the moment. 
ASAP Rocky. By 2020, rumors about the pair had arrested after they begun hanging out following their collaboration on a skincare video for Vogue and GQ. Over the winter, they would be spotted taking cozy walks, a Christmas Eve cruise in Barbados, and alas, in May 2021, ASAP Rocky finally described his feelings for her. In the interview with GQ, he called Rihanna, my lady, and the love of his life. A source would go on to say the pair were crazy for each other and were in it for the long term. Just as well, in January 2022, Rihanna took to Instagram to post a photo of herself sporting a new baby bump. Hurrah! In further series of photos, ASAP Rocky and Rihanna are pictured in Harlem, where ASAP Rocky grew up, with Rihanna showing off her new look. A source told People Magazine that she couldn't be happier and is so excited to be a mom. It seemed things were finally working out for Rihanna, and the world was so excited for her and ASAP Rocky's news. Everyone, apart from Drake, of course. In a weird turn of events, her ex-boyfriend from way back in 2009 took to Instagram to share a photo of the pair with the caption, Memories Never Die. It was also reported that he had unfollowed Rihanna. Could Drake be struggling to see Rihanna happy again? Does he wish it was him announcing his child with the woman he still so deeply loves? We guess time will tell. All we know is the internet couldn't wait to troll him about his clear disapproval. We're so glad Rihanna finally seems to be happy and that maybe, just maybe, after so many false starts, the relationship she has with ASAP Rocky could be the one that she's in for the long haul.